I want to thank the worshipers that have gone ahead of us. Uh, you have been uh, sensitive to the spirit and have been ministered to greatly and much more. Uh, God has been exalted in this place. Hallelujah. So I was asked to share on unity. And um, when I was just uh, going through this uh, thought, I, I told myself, what is it that I'm going to talk about? And God gave me uh, grace to focus on attitudes that we must possess as worshippers. And I want to uh, draw my inspiration from Romans chapter 14, verse 19. I'll read from the Philips Bible. I specifically chose this one. And it says, let us concentrate on the things which make for harmony and on the growth of one another's character. Now, a poet in his selection of words says, let us concentrate. And you must know that the word concentrate is more intentional. And it calls for us to give much attention to something that we must achieve. Amen. And so, I want to thank all the churches that are represented here are celebrating the unity of the body of Christ. Now, when you, when you are discussing uh, this subject, it will take more uh, time. And I want to quickly say uh, these things and I will be done. Why should we be united as worshipers? Number one, we have one body. And this is according to Ephesians chapter 4, verse 4 to 6. You read that one, it breaks down uh, the things that we must consider as we embrace uh, this call to unity. One is that we are one body. Clap for all the churches that are here. We are living at a time where certain believers feel that they are more of Christians than the others. They feel they are more powerful than the others. And so when a meeting of this magnitude is called upon, they don't show up. And they would want you to go to their meetings. But I want to say to you, brothers and sisters, that we are one body. And so when there is a call to come and worship together in this manner, let us understand that we are coming as one body and not as a fragmented unit. The other thing that I want to share with you is that we share one hope. We need to embrace unity because we share one hope. And when the Bible is talking about one hope, it's talking about the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our stay together in eternity. So there's coming a time when denominations will not exist, but worshipers will continue to exist. And so why should we be divided now when in eternity we shall be together as one? I'm trying to um, 
summarize my points. And of course, the third thing that I want to bring to your attention is that we belong to one body while we celebrate different gifts. We belong to one body but celebrate different gifts. And I think from what we have witnessed so far uh, from Minister Mape, the youths from uh, Calvary, uh, Pastor Richard, and many more that are yet to come, you will notice that each one of them is coming with a different touch. And together, together we make a difference. And so let us celebrate each gifting that is in our, in our meetings. And so uh, because I am a preacher, because I'm a preacher, I'm drawn to one text in the Bible. And this has to do with the story of Mary and Elizabeth. What we have before us in that text is that Elizabeth gets pregnant of uh, John the Baptist. And later on, Mary also uh, gets pregnant of Jesus Christ. And so one day, we are told that uh, Elizabeth goes to visit Mary, right? And when they greeted each other, Elizabeth said, you are blessed of all women. And what you carry is blessed. Now, right there we see something that we need to embrace, children of God. See, Elizabeth has been pregnant for six months, but Mary just for a few months, and yet Elizabeth is able to acknowledge what the young lady was carrying. Uh, she could have said, uh, I, I have a child of promise as well. But she, through divine revelation, she was able to discern that what was in Mary was greater. So she might have been there longer than uh, Mary, but on this one she said there is something greater. Let us reach that stage where even when others are excelling in ministry more than us especially in the area of music and worship and you discern that there is something great in there acknowledge it and celebrate it and this is what we need going forward. There are so many young people that the Lord is raising in our time. And we need to embrace them, celebrate them, acknowledge the gifting in them. And say there is something special in you. And together we worship the giver of that gift in Jesus name. Amen.